Hello everyone, my name is Ally5900, and welcome to a guide on how to get free spin tokens in Cops and Robbers every single day in just a few minutes. With this quick and easy method, you can get up to 50 gems, thousands of coins, S cards, free weapons, and chances to open the big surprise to get very rare and OP items. Before I start this video, I would also like to announce that I have S ranked every SMG in my inventory. Now I have 123 S rank weapons total. I'll be making a video on all of the SMGs in the store very soon. If you want me to do that, then keep watching this video till the end. If you enjoy or found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of the latest Cobbs and Robbers videos. Now, to begin, we're going to be playing in the single player of the story mode, and then we're going to select the hard difficulty. The best way to do this is to play in the hard difficulty, as you'll get more points when killing an NPC with, with getting three points instead of one. You should also use custom weapons so you can kill all of the NPCs quickly and then complete it even faster. If you own a Lucky 7 then you could probably complete it much faster, and if you own a Cake then you could Cake Jump to reach the end of the map in record speed. To begin, we'll go into a match and you'll want to kill all of the NPCs in front of you, and then all of the NPCs going downwards. This includes the three at the top floor, now the first three on the second floor. This isn't advised, but this is the best way to do it. And the three on the bottom floor, or two. Then you'll want to go through this gate, and then go to your left, and then go to the right and kill the NPC that spawns right in front of you. There'll also be another one down this corridor. You'll then have to shoot him here. Now looking down at the sports area, you'll want to kill these three NPCs, and then run downwards to the, to the gate. The gate will open up if you're fast enough, but if it closes in time or you're not there in record speed, then you can wait. We also saw that NPC up there, we'll get to him later. Now you're in this orange building, you'll want to kill all the NPCs, and then wait for this one that comes outside the wall. You'll then want to go onto this grey wall and then jump upwards, killing these NPCs. And then we jump, stay on the side jump upwards and then go to the top. Now that we're at the top, we can kill this NPC that spawns here, and then we want to jump on the roof and then go for the, all the opponents that are down at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one behind you, which is eight. Now that you're at this train, you'll want to slow down and then go to where the train and spawn point meet and keep walking back and forth. This will make you get tons of points as you'll do the exit round. Then you can jump off the map and then leave and get all the spin tokens that you want. If you do this every single day, on the third day you'll have a fourth free spin token as you'll always have 100 points left over until the end of the day. Thank you for watching this short guide on how to get free spin tokens and as always make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if this guide has helped. Make sure to click on the outro to see all of my other videos in the description.